Welcome to another episode of the Pursuit of Coconuts. Today is a venture in this market, but we're gonna buy the biggest fish. We're at the Da'o market in Tagbalaran. This is the biggest market on the island of Bohol. Bohol offers a mix of public and private markets, providing a wide range of options for all shoppers. While exact area and stall counts may vary, these markets offer an abundance of local produce, handicrafts, clothing, and other essential items, and a lot more stuff you wouldn't even believe. With a total of 69 public markets, they serve both local and visitors alike. These markets serve as a hub of trade, where residents gather to buy and sell goods, creating a vibrant atmosphere with sights, sounds, and my favorite, flavors. What's special about this market? It has everything. Yeah. All right, on today's adventure in this market, we're gonna check out what they have, we're gonna explore, but we're gonna buy the biggest fish that they have in the market. But we're gonna go look at the fresh meat, the fresh fish, because usually they come early because the hotels, the resorts, or the restaurants are usually the first ones here to look for the fish. Wish us luck, guys. All right, it's starting to get busy. People are coming, they're having breakfast, getting ready, and the market inside is getting to be live. Wow, let's go guys. Ooh, you can smell it. It's getting popping in here, so we gotta go find our fish before somebody else buys it. So we're gonna go to the fish area. All right, we're in the, the seafood area. Here we go. Looks like a giant yellowfin tuna. And they said that they have something in the back, so we're gonna go look at it. Oh man, it's a little old, the gills are still white. It's a big fish though. Okay, we're gonna look around and come back because the goal is to get the biggest fish and then we'll come back to see if we can find something bigger. All right, in this side of the seafood market, we've got more of the exotic foods. We got the crabs, ocean crabs, almost like blue crabs. These are the mud crabs. Still looking for the big one though. So we're gonna go, keep going. Maybe we have to ask them. Maybe they don't keep it outside because nobody buys it. Let's see how big this bad boy is. Biggest one, I do want to get something fresh. Wow. How fresh is it? Oh! Wow. All right, let's go over there to check it out. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, still got some color. It's not bright red, but, so this is about 20 kilos. The two biggest fish we've seen so far are tunas. We're gonna keep this in mind and we're gonna come back. We're looking for the biggest. The search continues. Check these out. Look at the teeth on this thing. Nothing real big over here. This fish killed Magellan. Lapu Lapu. All right, we're still looking. We've seen five kilo Lapu Lapu fish. We saw a 20 kilo tuna, which might be it. But we're gonna go ask around. We're still in search. So these lobsters right here, live lobsters, are $70 per kilo, which is about $35, $40 dollars per pound for live lobster at the market. Just a variety of fish, but we still have not found the biggest one. All right, let's go back and take a look. <laughs> All right, we did, our, we did our rounds to about 20 stalls, and this is the biggest fish in the market that we can find today. It's bigger than a small baby. 22, exactly. This is about a 45 pound fish. Let's see what we can make out of this. And now we gotta put this in the cooler, and then we're gonna go shopping for the rest of the ingredients to go along with this bad boy. Good <laughs> Price of a pig. All right. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Salamat. So these are actually locally caught and sourced. So between here and Mindanao, so on the other, on the southern part and farther tip, 
probably the eastern tip of Bohol. So this is awesome to know that this is locally sourced and locally caught. So guys, what better way to be close to your food than know where it came from, know the vendors, talk to them, get to know them. So we're gonna roll this out and then we're gonna go shopping for the sides and then we're gonna get going to the farm and go cook for the party here. Let's go. You like the ribs? I like the legs. All right, we're just gonna throw all the ingredients. I'm gonna get a lot of these because we're gonna grill these too. We did it. <laughs> yeah, the did it. biggest <laughs> fish in the biggest market on the island of Bohol, 22 kilo, kilo. About 50 pound yellow fin Thin. tuna. And they said this is super fresh, super local. That is gonna be cooked into a few different dishes. We're gonna do sinigang with the head. I want the collar to grill up. We're gonna do a little tuna belly sashimi. And uh, we got some wasabi and soy sauce just to make it real simple. And then we'll fry up some steaks, coat it with a little cornstarch to get it really uh, crispy. And then after that, we're gonna make a little sweet and chili, sweet chili sauce to go on top of that. So this is gonna be an amazing feast. It's gonna feed about 30 of us. I'm gonna start prepping this pretty soon here. We're gonna put a few things on the grill just to kind of get it smoked. We got a little piece of pork that we're gonna smoke. We got all the vegetables. I wanna grill a lot of these vegetables. A lot of these vegetables are gonna go in the soup. We've got the gi giant prawns that are gonna go inside. The sinigang, sinigang. Sinigang. Um, to kind of give it that more depth and also some meat uh, that goes along with the head and the bones. Follow us on this pursuit. I apologize to all the sushi makers out there. I know this is not the cleanest cut fish, but I guarantee you it would taste delicious. You got a beautiful slab right there. Fresh sashimi, cheers. Mm, it's firm. Nothing goes to waste. My Sherpa Bonyek saved all the guts and insides, salted it and saved it for a later dish. Now we're gonna clean this up. This is the very dirty, because I chopped it collar and a little bit of belly, and this is gonna make an amazing barbecue. Nothing goes to waste. All right, there's a lot of meat on the bones, but I'm gonna leave it on there because I want it to go in the synagogue. But man. Oh man, this is still heavy. You want a lot on there only because we're gonna make soup out of that. Voila. Skin. You can actually fry this and make tuna chips or you can cut up in strips and use it for bait. Pork wasn't really necessary, but we just love to eat. All right, we're gonna boil the water first and then throw the head in there. And that way we can get a little bit of the, uh, the blood that comes out, skim it up. And then after that, we'll throw the vegetables in, the flavoring in, and then we'll have delicious, delicious <laughs> broth. Let's go. Fun fact, sinigang is probably the first dish that I recognize as a Filipino dish once I was introduced to the food. I know, I know. You're probably thinking this is not a traditional synagogue, and it's not. I love vegetables, so we throw everything in the kitchen sink into this as far as vegetables to soak up all that flavor. Yep. First, gonna put the salt on it, black pepper. 
This is for the grill. Let's go. With such a high quality tuna, we just wanted the fresh and just simple flavors to come out. So we just did a simple smoke and grill, salt and pepper, it turned out a wonderful. This is special kinilaw. So the natural kinilaw is we're just using the vinegar with the, all the spices and then but this one is we're using the coconut. So kinilaw consists of fish, vinegar that cooks the fish, onions, tomato, ginger. And this one is special because we added fresh squeezed coconut milk to sweeten it up. All right, we got everything going on. Rice is cooked, frying, grilling, and sinigang. So we're all over the place. All right, shout outs to my mom. She taught me how to make this sweet chili dish. You just get some fish, make it a little crispy to soak up all that flavor. A little vinegar, sweet chili sauce, onions, and it is a flavor explosion. nice and coated. All right, that's the tuna belly. I love the high heat on this. The char on the outside and a little bit raw on the inside makes it for a perfect grill. Talk about sustainability. Traditional ways of making cups, bowls, plates all from the nature that surrounds us. Always thankful, especially for our people, and yes, the food. guys we got the sweet and chili sweet chili tuna fried the grilled with the Cambodian sauce the quinoa always a fan favorite this is fully sustainable plates made from bananas that had ripened they cut the trees so it can regrow and they use the inside for that uh, this is the grilled peach eye and they usually don't eat it this way but full of flavor packed full of juice and just yumminess and the pink local rice not the white jasmine that's imported, but we keep it real, keep it local, keep it yummy. Success! I think we have more than enough food, and I hope everybody enjoys it. This is inspired for the future of Isla Eden Farm, where you'll be able to taste what comes out of this farm. Local ingredients, local ways of cooking, just an amazing community. Thank you to all the guys that are working hard on this farm, nonstop, with a vision that hasn't been seen before, so it's something that they are uh, moving in faith with, so can't be thankful enough for the people that we got here. Thank you, my Sherpa, once again for showing me the food and culture and Thank the you. biggest wet market in Bohol. This was a very successful yeah, day. Yeah, amazing. Thank you guys for following along. We'll see you on the next one. The Pursuit of Coconuts. <laughs>